So welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Again, today is Tuesday, March 16th. And we're going to go on with section 5.5, which is called Trade Identity. And to speed this up for the viewers at home, if you're watching, or if you're recapturing this lesson, again, the big idea is to make the left side look like the right side. And these are called proofs. Proofs. They do look like equations. So some of you are so tempted to move things around or multiply things by things. And that's great. But in essence, don't do that. All you're trying to do is make the left side look like the right side. And at your repertoire or your tool set, you actually have these trig identities. All of these are at your disposal. Does that mean you always have to use them? And so our introduction that we're going to look at is actually look at one of the identities that we want to prove, which is actually called the tangent identity. But I put it with the reciprocal identity because technically it's there. And by definition, tan theta is equal to sine theta over cos theta. Now for those people that are watching at home or in class, Watch what I'm going to do with this particular example. I'm actually not going to teach this one normally because we're going to need some basic concepts. And understand that tangent, if I take the left side of this equation, tan theta, by definition, is the opposite over adjacent. Everyone agree? So that is the opposite over adjacent. For some reason, I didn't do anything. I just wrote a definition. That's great. That's all we're going to say. Notice for the right hand side, I'm separating it. And again, the big idea is to make the right side look like the left side. This side is clearly more complicated than this left handed side. Now, we'll talk more about what's complicated, but for short, right now, for our example, our intro really quickly, I think a lot of you understand what sine is as a definition. Any volunteers in the class? What is sine? Any volunteers? If you need some help, look above. There's an acronym. Annika? Nicely done. Opposite of hypotenuse. Notice what I'm doing for emphasis? This line is this. Can I get a different volunteer? What is cosine as a definition? Nora? Nicely done. Now, some of Chen, I don't see it. This clearly doesn't look like that left hand side. What are you talking about, Chen? What's going on? But that's why. We're really doing the opposite of our hypotenuse divided by the adjacent of our hypotenuse. I'm just going to rewrite this question so it's a little easier. Opposite of our hypotenuse divided by the adjacent over the hypotenuse. Hopefully I'm still on screen. Yep. And division means, any volunteer from the class? What does division really mean? Omar. You could multiply by the reciprocal. Beautifully said. Omar said multiply by the reciprocal. And a lot of you realize what we're doing. That is why we have a rational expression unit. And we have hypotenuse in the denominator and hypotenuse in the numerator. We can divide those up because everything's being multiplied. And what are we left with? Mr. Chen, do we keep on going? What's going on? I don't. Hey, wait a second. The right hand side. Looks like the left hand side. So the way that we tend to write it, or I would like it, you don't have to do this. Don't actually know what this symbol means? Therefore. No. Since, it's okay. This means since, since the left side uh, equals the right side, therefore, identity proven. What does that really mean? This is true. So in grade 11, and usually in grade 12, we're usually giving you identities that are true. And all you have to do is make that left side look like the right side, or the right side look like the left side. I'm gonna stop here for a second before the class so that people are gonna digest this. And this is the 